Hi, my name is Andrea Suchuk. In this video episode, I would like to talk about page views inflation, which is one of the problems I've seen on many websites. And today I'm doing an audit of forend.com and I discovered the same issue on this website too. Let's have a look. Before showing you the problem in the implementation, I want to briefly explain you what I mean by the page views inflation. This stands for the situations when you see more than one page views while there was only a single page view. For example, somebody came to your website to page A and then came to page B. And when you work with the report, you see that there were two page views on page A and one page view on page B. Or when you run the flow analysis report, you see that many of those who came to page A then again came to page A. And you may have a question, what's happening? There must be something wrong with that. And now let's see what's happening in the implementation. I am on one of the pages where I can see a list of different apartments and I will choose the first item in the list. And now we can see that once we've come to this page, the second server call was sent to Adobe Analytics. Now imagine that you may have different ads on third-party websites where this page is used as a landing page, so the traffic comes to this page directly from third-party resources, or you may also have some posts and social networks, etc. And now I will show you what happens when somebody comes to this page directly, when this page is a landing page for their journey. I will simply enter in the URL bar And we see that there were more than one server call sent. So now let's uh, check what data was in those two server calls. And we can see that the data is absolutely the same. So what this means, instead of one page view, now the report will be showing two page views for this particular page. And this is obviously a mistake in the implementation that must be fixed. Hope this was helpful and now you understand what the page views inflation is and what causes that and how to verify the implementation to make sure that only a single server call is sent from a page. Thank you for watching.